sweetie yes dear why do you sound like you don't want to have kids at all what do you mean what kind of freedom were you referring to that having kids would take away from you it's not like i don't want them at all it's just just what cindy just what don't you know children had the reward for marriage don't get me wrong i'm not saying i don't want to have kids at all but at least not in the first three years of our marriage what not in the first three years wait so you mean we are not going to have children until after three years of being married yes marriage is not about children marriage is about us you and i or did you marry me because you want to have children hold on a minute i don't seem to understand you you are an only child i am also an only child we don't have siblings your parents and mine are looking forward to see our children and you are telling me marriage isn't about children asking me if i married you because i want to have children what kind of a question is that i see so you are married to me because of children you men are selfish and inconsiderate do you know the stress of pregnancy do you know the changes my body will go through i married you because i love you and want to build a family with you and a family isn't complete without kids then you have to wait until i am ready my beautiful body ain't ready to carry a child i can't even go through that stress really yes are you trying to tell me those people that are married but couldn't have kids and not a family then what are they why are we even having this conversation i want children and that's final my body my choice i don't want children yet and that's fine now cindy we just got married please and please don't make this marriage regrettable for us both i asked you severally if you were sure you wanted this marriage and you said yes i didn't force you to marry me you came back on your own so please do your duties as a wife you are married to me and i am the head of this family you should learn to respect my decisions and be submissive good night Good morning, Dad. Good morning, son. You asked of me this morning. I hope all is well. Yes, my son. I just want us to have a father and son talk. Okay, Dad. It's been a long while. We have had that. Yes, and it's my fault. I should have been a little lenient with you. I ended up pushing you away in the process. No, Dad. We both know I was being a difficult child growing up. I chose the wrong set of friends and they influenced me really bad. I always gave you a heart ache and I am sorry for all the wrongs and numerous ways I have hurt you. I was ignorant then, but I know better now. I promise to make you proud henceforth. That means a lot to me, son. Thank you. You know you are now married. You are now complete. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. I want you to be patient with your wife and love and cherish her and you would enjoy a happy home. I promise to do better than you, Dad. You would grow jealous. I would love to see you try. Game on, Dad. Well, I have been keeping tabs on you. I have ears and eyes everywhere and all I have heard are good reports. Now I am sure that you are ready to take the full responsibility for the family's business. My retirement is now official. Your salary is now the final approval and authority. Your signatory is now the final approval and authority. Congratulations, son. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much, Dad. Thanks for giving me a second chance. Thanks for believing in me. I am grateful and happy that you are proud of me. I always wanted to hear those words from you. I really appreciate you, Dad. It's all right, my son. Now that you have proven yourself, I can finally rest and enjoy the rest of my days with my wife. I have done my part. Now it is left for you to multiply the world and also leave a legacy for your children to inherit. Thanks, Dad. It's such a great honor, and I promise not to disappoint you. The family's legacy is in good hands, and I promise to do everything in my power to upload and enlarge it. I trust you would. I haven't told your mother yet. I am sure she would dance at the news. She would jump at the news. Thanks, Dad. I love you. I haven't heard that in years. I love you too, son. Good day.
Idema, how have you been? It's been a long time. I'm fine, James. How are you? I heard about your mother's health. Hope she is very much better now. Yes, ma. She's very much better. Thank you very much for the financial support. I am very grateful. It's nothing. You are welcome. What can I offer you? Nothing, ma. I am fine. Please, I'm here to see Cindy. Cindy? But if you want to see Cindy, you should know married women don't live at their parents' house. They have to relocate to their husband's house. I don't understand you, ma. Why did Cindy move out? Did she perhaps have a fight with her father over me? Was that why she moved out? No wonder she hasn't been answering or returning my calls. You didn't know? She didn't tell you? Know what? Tell me what, ma. I hope she's okay. Please tell me what the problem is. I can persuade her to come home. Young man, Cindy didn't have a fight with her father or anyone else. She is married. I don't understand. How? Cindy is happily married to Henry. I thought you knew. That was the reason she hasn't been answering or returning your calls. They just returned from their honeymoon at Dubai not very long. What? What? Cindy? Henry? Marriage? How? When? Where? Why? Well, I'm not Cindy, so I cannot answer that question. I would advise you to leave immediately. My husband will be back soon. I wouldn't want him to meet you here. Okay, ma. Thank you very much. I would advise you to move on. Cindy is now a married woman. You are a very gentleman. Get yourself a nice girl and settle down with. Mom, guess what? Your wife is pregnant. Come on, mom. You can do better. You know we would be here all day because I am very bad at guessing. Dad and I had a talk and he has handed over the family's entire business to me officially. Said I had earned it and he was proud of me. Huh? He said that. I am so happy finally my husband and my son are friends. Thank you, God. Congratulations, son. Thanks, mom. I want to thank you for all the support and love you have showered on me. Even when I wasn't the best of a son to you, you are a good mother. And from henceforth, I will do everything to make you happy and proud. Thank you, my son. I have a little problem with my wife. What kind of problem? It's too early for problems in your marriage. Yes, mom, I know. But it seems Cindy doesn't want to have kids. She said that? Not really, mom. I don't think she likes children. And it's very disturbing to me because I love children. You do? Yes, mom. I love kids and I would love to have kids of my own. But Cindy wants me to wait until three years later. Can you imagine three good years? Did you ask her why? She gave excuses of kids taking away her freedom and her body changing. You have to make her understand with love and not with force. You two have to figure that out on your own. I am not going to interfere in your marriage. At least help me explain to her. No, dear. You are not a married man. You have to figure out things on your own. Marriage is all about patience and understanding. All right, mom. I will try my best.